Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So as I'm in the middle of some bigger projects that take a bit more time to make videos for and everything, I thought it'd be fun to find some projects from other people and build them as well, from Tindy or Hackaday, you know, like community projects. And I could either modify them a little bit or just build them the way they have them. I thought it'd be a really fun idea, so I'm gonna start doing that and I'm gonna be looking around for new projects. But today, I have one from Tindy. You can find the link below. It's called the Slow Mo. And it is a little frame that makes objects kind of look like they're in slow motion, even in real time. The kit requires that you have a laser cutter so you can cut some acrylic for an, an IKEA frame. But I actually don't have one, so I'm going to make a 3D printable frame. The whole thing will be 3D printed, and I will 3D print that myself, and I'll upload it on Thingiverse so you can find it there. Anyways, gonna get that built and uh, let's get to it. Okay, so while those are 3D printing, let's go over the kit, I'll show you all the components, what comes with it. This is the main kit. Comes with a circuit board, some diodes, some resistors, some headers, potentiometers, button, and some FETs, big capacitor, and a power supply, barrel jack plug, and then in addition to that, we got the electromagnet part and a little base to mount these metal spring frame thing. Now the creator of this kit actually already has an Instructables, so I'm going to be going through that to make sure I assemble it correctly, at least the circuit board part, and uh, there's a link for that below as well. So it doesn't look too difficult, some through hole components, quick soldering job, should be fun. Okay, so we got all the soldering done, and also the 3D prints just finished. They turned out pretty good. If I didn't mention it before, we also need Arduino Nano and some LED lighting. Well, I'm only gonna put it in here and here. So I definitely got more than I need, but I would say you need about a foot would be good. Give you some leeway. So we'll get all that stuff installed in there, but first, We'll get this programmed with the code that is provided, powered on, and make sure that everything's working. Okay, so we got it programmed with that Arduino sketch that is provided, so let's connect to the power. Got a little bit of LEDs here. Let's turn it on. And sweet. It's working. And the flickering is normal because that's how this thing is going to work. Okay, we've got it all assembled, so let's turn it on and try it out. Get rid of some of this light. You know that flickering you're seeing? I don't see that. That's just a result of the refresh rate of the camera, the frames per second, and the lights flickering. But if you see, it's working. So 
So what you notice is all the little wires are slowly moving back and forth and you can actually change how fast these move by changing the frequency phase shift of the lights and the vibration. It's really cool. And most people put feathers or like small plants in here because they look really interesting when they're moving at these frequencies. But I thought the small wires were fitting and they actually look really cool. Now the way this works is in here there's an electromagnet and it is making these two pieces of metal vibrate at a certain frequency. And then you've got these light strips that are actually also turning on and off slightly out of phase from this vibration. And that causes you to see basically a snapshot of where the wire is in time. If you were to have a regular light on, you would see the wire in all the positions, but blurry. That's called persistence of vision, and I've talked about that in my fidget spinner video. This is sort of the opposite of the fidget spinner, because you're eliminating persistence of vision in this case, whereas with the fidget spinner, you were trying to create it. And you're left with this really cool effect. Okay, so that is it for the first of the community project series, the slow-mo, and I think it turned out really well. It's a really cool project, and I'll leave a link to the product down below to the Tindy store. So go and check it out. If you have a product on Tindy, or a project on Hackaday, or anywhere on the internet, and you want to see me build one, then leave a comment, or send me a message, or email, and I'll try to get on it. Anyways. This is cool, can't wait to do more of them, and everyone, you know the deal, be good, and have a good day.